Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely Monday morning. Today I'd like to discuss Philips U Smart Lighting. These are lights that I do not suggest that anybody purchase. It's one thing to have a product that requires user data and user information in order to work, particularly if you state that up front. They're not my products of choice, but I understand them existing and I understand there being a place for them in the market. The problem that I have is when a company changes its terms of service and changes the way they do business on something that you have already purchased and paid for and changes those terms after you've given them money and gives you no choice to opt out. This happened with Arlo cameras a few months ago. I was talking about Arlo cameras. The TLDR of this video is they promised you something on the box and then a few years later they said, oh, you're going to have to pay to get that thing that we were giving you for free when we were advertising the product, the product that you may have paid more for our device versus somebody else's because we were giving this away for free. And Philips is doing something very similar here with your privacy. When these lights came out, you were able to use them offline. You could use them using a local API without uploading any data to Philips and without creating an account. And it looks like they are changing that so that you will have to have an account with Philips and you will have to upload your data to the cloud in order to be able to use their smart lights. So you paid for it under the premise that you could use it offline but now it will not work offline. It will require you create an account and you will have to upload your data to Philips. You bought the product based on it being advertised that it has this functionality. After you purchase the product, because it is a connected product, they have the ability to change and alter the terms of service, similar with many smart devices, so that in spite of the fact that you bought X, it can transform into Y, where Y is a product that has less freedom, less functionality available to you, may require you pay a monthly subscription, and so on and so forth. Which is why I prefer to purchase new products, appliances, and devices that do not connect to the internet. My light switch in my room is incapable of uploading data to Philips, nor is it capable of not functioning anymore if I decide I do not want to upload data to Philips because it is impossible to upload data to Philips with my light switch. If I were to try and connect an ethernet cord to my light switch, the switch that that was connected to would get 120 volts of AC and would immediately smoke and stop working, which is exactly what should happen to any device that tries to collect information on how I use lights in my home after I've paid for it. If you you want information on how I use things in my house. You need to pay me for that. I'm not going to pay for a product that does this. No, thank you. This comes from homeassistant.io. It's a great website for people who are interested in more sovereign home smart systems. And it says the following. You have this little thing over here. It says sign in to control your Philips U system. Uh, on the left, a new tip informs users that they will soon need to log in. U accounts are designed to enhance your system security. Starting soon, you'll need to be signed in. Now, this is very interesting. How is it that connecting my device to the internet is more secure than not connecting it to the internet. How is it more secure to install another third-party application on my phone that accesses the internet, has access to my email, and so on and so forth, versus not making an account with you? There is no way you will ever convince me that this light switch is more secure connecting to the internet than it is if I set up a rule in my router that says this is on a virtual LAN that is only allowed to speak to local devices and cannot connect to the internet. When you create an account with you, you get the ability to control your lights while away from home using their mobile app. The feature works by uploading your data to the U Cloud such that a mobile app can reach it. Their privacy policy allows them to store this data and share it with their partners. Creating a U account has been an option for a long time, but it was always an option. Many Home Assistant users preferred not to create an account and remain private and purchase U devices because it allowed this. So today, you can choose to not share your information with Signify by not creating an account, but this choice will soon be taken away and all users need to share their data with Philips U. And he said he didn't want to cry wolf, so he decided to verify the statement with Signify. He spoke to their official Twitter account. But if I've never logged into an account, you does not have access to any of my data, correct? We do, but it's limited, like mentioned on our website. Okay, just to confirm, a user can choose to not log in and it will only share limited device information with you. Once they log in, they will share a lot more information with you. Philips, yes, as mentioned in our privacy policy. When asked what drove this change, the answer is the usual. Security. Yes, security, that catch-all phrase that gets used to take away your ability to fix what you own, takes away your ability to use what you own locally, privately. This is one of those catch-all terms that gets used when a company says, I want access to something or I want to restrict your access to something because security. We don't have to tell you what makes it more secure. We don't have to tell you how it makes it more secure. We just throw the word out there and you're just supposed to accept it. Well, Signify, you know what keeps user data even more secure, he says? Not uploading it all to the cloud. Ding, 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 ding. That's the right answer. Just allow a smart home to talk to you using the local API or matter. And then Philips says the standard gaslighting trait that you will hear, most of you have probably heard at some point from a manipulative ex, we're sorry you feel this way. 
Not we're sorry that we changed the terms of service after the sale. Not we're sorry that we're going to ask for your data when we didn't ask for your data when you bought the fucking product. We're sorry you feel this way. As the features we develop grow, so does the need for more advanced security. To keep your accounts and products secure and ensure you get the most out of your system, you'll need to create a Philips U account soon. And again, not giving you my data and not connecting this device to the internet will always be a more secure option than giving you my data and connecting the device to the internet. It's not too late. Currently, Philips U is announcing this change in this app, and the users are not forced yet to turn over data. We have contacted Signify privately to bring this issue to their attention, but they have not responded. Now, somebody here said that they decided to go to the website, as suggested in this blog, and respond. And they were not able to report this as an issue. They are greeted with, and I quote, this functionality is not available due to your cookie consent choice. And uh, we make use of recaptcha and analytics cookie to ensure the quality and security of this form. If you do not wish to change your cookie preference, you can always reach out to us in an equally effective manner via email or phone. So yet another we are tracking you for your protection kind of cop-out. I have never seen another site complain like this, but further solidifies I'm just not messing with you at all. And I have had... Yeah, I mean, I've had browsers that block cookies that work with those things before, so that's very interesting. Anyway, I would not purchase one of these products, and I would not purchase a product from that company into the future. Again, it's not about them requiring a login. To be clear, that's not what makes me mad. Them lying about security is not what makes me mad. Them demanding that you connect a device to the internet is not what makes me mad. What makes me mad is that you sold a product that had this functionality. The person brought it with this functionality. You're going to change the terms of service after the sale and now limit the customer in a way that if they knew the device were limited in that way, they may have not given you money in the first place. The biggest problem that I find with any of these smart devices is that it allows the manufacturer to change the terms of condition after the sale as long as they have access to it. As long as the manufacturer can connect to your device, can update its software, as long as that device is pinging the internet in any way, shape, or form, it allows the manufacturer to change the terms of service after the sale, which is something that I personally find repugnant and disgusting. Again, the only thing that I, anything, any Ethernet cable connected to my light switch should ever receive in my home, if it's connected to that, is 120 volts of AC to whatever switch it's connected to. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Bye now. Yeah.